What's going on, boys? My name is Sid, and this car that you're looking at right here is one of the only unique police cars added in the Chase update. Not only that, but it is the final returning motor pass car of this update. This is the last one that before you had to pay for, and now, well, it's free in IRL money, but it's like not free in like, you know, you still gotta, you still gotta buy the car in in-game money. Like how free is that really? And, uh, but if you like JDM, this might be your favorite one of all of them, you know? And today I'm gonna be going into this car. I filmed this video yesterday because I already own the thing. It comes out today. This thing releases, you know, if you're watching this video, this car is back out four bucks. So if you don't want a Mustang police car, if you don't want a Crown Vic police car, if you don't want a demon police car, a Corvette, or even an M8, all you want is a Japanese police car, now you have your option. And obviously, from here, we're going to be going into, well, I'll do a more in-depth video about this when it comes up, but from now, from the next update, we'll be seeing the Bentley Mulliner Bacala, the Jaguar F-Type Professional Edition, the convertible version of the... Jaguar E-Type, and I want more police lights. Yeah, some blue and white ones. Uh, some blue and white, sorry, blue and red ones. Some more blue and red lights would be nice. They've only done one set of blue and reds. The final thing that we're going to be getting returning is the KTM Nighthawk. That's all going to be coming out this very next season, which, uh, you know, maybe you're hyped for more than the police cars, but I'd be surprised. But let's go into customization of the Mitsubishi. Head down there, subscribe with notifications on, and honestly, just after this video, check out one of my other videos. I do a bunch of videos on the channel. They'll be in your recommended. So just after this one, all I can ask for, watch one of those. Boys, what kind of police livery do we go with? Do we go American? Do we go Japanese? Do we go... Uh... Goddamn Transformer? <laughs> or, I don't know, Blacked Out, Gold, uh, whatever this is. Um, Super, Supervisor? Oh, I mean, everyone wants Japanese, and well, this is the only Japanese police car we have in the game, so I think it only makes sense to go into a Japanese police car. I mean, this one's pretty nice to start off with. This one is, uh, I think matte. It looks glossy, but then the white is just like, it's too vibrant, right? But I guess, you know, chat, you guys win. I guess we'll go with that one. And for the vanity items, simple stuff. I guess interception unit tires. We can go with, uh, you know what? We actually will go with something. We'll go star-shaped smoke. Japanese nitro. I mean, that makes more sense than anything. Underglow, we're not going to go with any. Black out the windows. No, 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 I'm not going to lie to you, Chow. We got a, we got a naughty little whip there. Boys, we, 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 we got a Japanese police car. Obviously, there's not a lot of customization you can do. That's basically it. And we've already got parts on it. But do we have better police parts? I think we do. And now we've got parts that are specifically made for the police events. So let's do those events. And then let's go into the thing. Am I collabing with Goosiest? Well, you know what? I haven't said it in a video yet. It happened recently. I haven't said it in a video just yet. But yes, boys, Goosiest, you would have noticed. Goosiest made a video on the crew too. We knew it was going to happen. And now he's done it. And he talks about in that video a big crew 2 content creator who's going to be... Well, running him through the game. And I'm not gonna lie to you, boys. That might be your boy right here, chat. And no, the video's not filmed yet, but episode two of The Crew 2 from Goosiest will indeed have me, Sid Waj. I'm gonna be helping him. I've told him what uh, he has to have ready before we uh, before we film the video. Boys, I mean, I... I, I I think it's going to be pretty goddamn hype. You know, not only... I mean, again, people say that, oh my god, this is going to be big for your channel or whatever. It's going to be big for the crew, right? Like, to be fair, I mean, Motorfest just sort of, like, unveiled itself recently. And that is a whole, like, uh, that's a whole other can of worms. This was before Motorfest just sort of spawned, right? Especially originally. 
the main thing was when I reached out to Gusius, when I when I let him know that when I made the offer for him to play the crew too. The main thing was that this is going to be really beneficial for the game, and you know the man's been enjoying the game. In his first video, he enjoys the game. He gets a little confused. Unfortunately, um, I probably should have. Okay, of all the things I should have told him before buying the game, the fact that the force feedback sucks. That should have been number one, to be fair. Honestly, that's on me, right? The physics, hit or miss, you know? The, 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 the handling, hit or miss, you know? The boats and planes, hit or miss. Force feedback, straight miss. Like, just no question, that's just a straight miss. That I could have let him know beforehand, I guess. Consider subscribing. Do that, video watchers. Subscribe. Even live chat's telling you. After this one, we're going to go into a normal race. You got our Japanese police car. But, you know, I I, am, I would be happy to play some uh, drift games as well. If we were to play some drift games, you know, I'll hop on the car X with Gooseyist and whatnot. And I'm also going to be getting a video out with Gooseyist. Whether it's going to be my side of the video that we film together or whether it's going to be... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Or whether we just film a different video. I guess we'll have to see, boys. But... You know, again, a shout out wouldn't do nothing if you can't keep it. So, and it's not even a shout out, it's a straight up collab chat. It's just, just, maybe, maybe, maybe it's gonna be pretty goddamn cool. Me versus the goose? Unfortunately, he would probably win. I mean, depends on the playing field. If I did do the ultimate drift 1v1 with Gooseyest, right? One. Uh, first round, we play the Crew 2. Second round, we play Car X. So both of us get the two games we're best at. And then... We did a... Like a, a level playing field. We find a game that neither of us is amazing at drifting at. I think that could be a pretty good video. I definitely wouldn't do it as the first collab video, but... You know, we gotta get Goose just up and running in the Crew 2 first. I'm... Definitely not going to be spoiling the car I get him to get. But, uh... It's definitely going to be one he's actually able to use, thankfully. Let's now take this car, the actual car that this video is about. You know, not the Gucci's collab. Uh, let's take this thing into another race. By the way, the stars smoke. Pretty cool. Here we go, boys! <laughs> the motorcycle's coming with me. Now, as far as I remember, this car was bad, I want to say. I don't remember it being good, necessarily. I guess we'll find out in this race here. Oh, I forget Harlem East is this race. This is actually a pretty... It's an iconic race. That's what I call it. I definitely think it maybe understeers a little bit, for sure. If I go around this turn like this... Um... Uh... Well, at least we're getting our drift practice in, I guess. Okay, no, I'm, I'm definitely realizing this thing understeers a lot. And by the way, I'm also realizing this is the second multiple of a car we're getting. Not only did we get two new M8s, as well as a returning M8, we got a new 3000 GT in the No Rules Edition, the highest top speed car in street, and a returning 3000 GT. This is incredible. Like, what are they? What are they? What are they doing? What What are they doing, chat? What are they doing? Does that mean next episode we get the Bentley Mulliner Bacala No Rules Edition? Do we get the uh, Jaguar F Type No Rules Edition? Who knows, chat? Who knows? I mean, it's definitely a car that's salvageable, right? If you're used to the handling, you could definitely make it work, right? Like a turn like that, it made completely fine. You know, it made it, it made it completely fine, you know, and there you go. See, like, pretty good. Not terrible. This thing, pretty okay, I guess, right? I guess. Uh, thank you to popular members, especially thank you to famous members, and an insane, insane thank you to star members, Danimal the Manimal, and Angelo GTO. That's the end of that video, boys. But obviously, we're still streaming.